Hey everybody, my name is The Surgeon, and I am exceptionally pleased to welcome you to this, our very first Let's Play. Now I'm a friend of the guys over at uh, Bunch of Bad Gamers, and every Friday I'll be posting a video to their uh, YouTube channel, uh, Two Bad Gamers, at least until I run out of steam. Now for our very first Let's Play, I thought we'd do uh, Dark Messiah of Might and Magic, a game that was released in 2006 to some mixed critical reviews. Um, but despite that, I really think Dark Messiah is a fun, exciting, uh, intriguing adventure at the that does a lot of things really, really well. And uh, I'm going to point those things out to you uh, during our playthrough. So I'll click New Game. I'll play on Normal because I'm very bad at this. I'll let this uh, screen load right here, and then I'll be quiet so you can watch our very first cutscene in peace. Master Fenrig, where are you? I'm here, Sarath. Now listen. In the room ahead, there's an altar with a spider artifact. Take it. We'll need it to get to the Shantiri crystal. My voice will guide you. And have no fear, I'll be watching over you. Anyway, just in case you were wondering, wondering, um, I have so far, uh, so my computer uh, running at almost max specs for this game, you and perhaps running at 50 found, frames so. per second. And yeah, this is just the tutorial level. It's not uh, anything super exciting, but it's it's fun in its own way. Now, I think what this game does uh, so well, better than many other. Uh, budgets with much larger titles um, is uh, immersion. Uh, there's a lot of immersive uh, tiny little details um, that really captures the player and brings them into the game world. And I think one of those is a kick pillar. button like this they one. Weak. See if you can now because this game is built like on we'll Havoc physics, um, you're Jump going to be interacting with your nice. environment a lot kicking people, kicking down doors, pushing around boxes, and the like. And to have a button uh, mapped entirely to uh, interacting with your environment is, uh, not gonna lie, pretty immersive. How come? Well, because in real life we have buttons mapped to nothing but physical interaction too, and it's, you know, most of our bodies. Uh, so to have a... Uh, uh, a button that, you know, it's not going to do damage, Use it's not for killing someone, it's for interacting. And the dark that's that's will really nice. No secrets for you. Yeah, oh boy. Magic spell. Although you can uh, kind of see without it in most of the places uh, they ask you to use it, so... It's kind of just your starter spell. See if you can open the chest. You never know what you might find. I know what I might find. It's a the sword. Uh, Cut the rope. Yeah. Going back to that kick button, uh, you can see there's a zombie right Think. here. Adapt. Now, what I want to do is kick him off the uh, off the ledge and and uh, have him fall all the way down. Um, if I had just a melee attack button, like most other games do. Um, what I would do is damage, not necessarily uh, push him off the ledge. But with the kick button, a button mapped entirely for physical interaction, he goes off. Careful, careful. The undead are tenacious. And I can follow him. Impel them to make sure they don't rise again. I'll do my best to heal you, Sarah. Some more combat. And now it's a good thing, too, that they give us those, um... Um, a button mapped entirely to physical interaction, because one-on-one uh, -on -one combat, especially just with swords, can get kinda hairy. And if you don't use your uh, environment to your advantage, you'll never win. So, it's really nice to have a button that'll do nothing but uh, screw with the environment to uh, use against your opponents. Black guards, here. Hired swords they are. But I can feel the scheming hand of the necromancers behind them. So they too are after the Shantiri crystal. Hmm. Ribs for dinner? Nah, that's gross. 
Kick him over the edge. Be efficient, Sarah. And spikes. Yeah, like I said about the environment, uh, one-on-one -on -one battles get really hairy, so uh, they leave spikes and ledges all over the place for you to throw your enemies into. <laughs> Sideways onto the spikes. Try breaking the spikes. He didn't even know I was here before I threw everything on him. There we go. Ah, oh, that's always so much fun. You won't make Two more, I think? Use the spikes to your advantage. Kick him. Use more time to hone your skills if you wish. I'll keep the port colors open. Die. Yeah, they kick you back, and they will kick you off ledges and into spikes, so, uh... Nah, like I said, immersion. If you get something cool, your opponents get that something cool, too. And it is, I'm not gonna lie, it is really nice to know that, uh... Every single battle is gonna be kinda dynamic. Show some skill! Remember what I said about uh, melee fights getting hairy? That was one guy and I was struggling to kill him with a regular sword. It doesn't get any easier from here either. Anyway, uh, our very first skill point, so I'm going to spend that right now. Um, now I've played part of this game before, not the whole thing. And what I've learned is that if you try to be good at everything, you'll only be bad at everything. Um, or, or to put it another way, if you try to be good at everything, you'll never be good at anything. Um, so I'm going to forgo uh, archery and sneaking entirely. They're wonderful mechanics, they're well implemented, but I want to I wanna like beat this game. Uh, so I'm going to do nothing but swords and sorcery. So I'll spend my uh, first point on the fireball spell. Again, talking about immersiveness. Um, something this game does so well, and I think it's a side effect of uh, only having a handful of spells to play with, is that each and every spell you get is useful up until uh, the very end of the game. What uh, now, you don't just upgrade We're your level 1 now. fire spell for a level 2 fire you spell, you get a whole new fire attacks. spell, and, and that's really this nice to know that uh, your investments early road. game will pay off late game. Also, you know, thinking about uh, things that are realistic, um, when you are able to shoot fire out of your hand, it's kind of nice to know that uh, fire out of your hand is always going to be an exciting uh, thing. You know, it's never going to get weak. It's never going to be unused. It's still going to be awesome. Anyway, we've got now, a cutscene coming up, crystal. and uh, right after Choose that cutscene, uh, that'll be the end of our first play. Away. First, For let's play. Was just the beginning, my boy. Suppose in a way it is the first play home, too. And I'll show huh. you the next step in your education. Trip, 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 trip. Oh, he tripped. Sareth, my faithful disciple. Your father would be proud to see you this day. Don't touch me, Master Initiated Fenric. You're not my real dad. Magic, a fierce and noble warrior. You have all that you need to achieve your destiny. But you won't achieve it here. Your future is out there, in a distant land. Pallet Town? I'm sending you to the free city of Stonehelm. Oh. To meet a wizard named Menelag. He and I have certain mutual interests. Catching all 150 Pokemon? Right now, he's looking for an artifact called the Skull of Shadows. Oh. Unfortunately, he's unable to progress any further in his search. 
At least not without this. A gym badge? The Shantary Crystal oh. that we retrieved. It was worth our pain to retrieve it, don't you think? Take it to Menelag and help him get the skull. Once you do, I think you'll know what's expected of you next. Defeat the Elite Four? Oh man, really? Now, this game just dear, keeps on getting better and better. I am not sending you alone. You'll need a guide. A Pikachu? A, companion, a Pikachu? Perhaps even a guardian. A Pikachu? She may even teach you a few other things. Oh my gosh, it's totally a Pikachu. This is going to be so great. Oh, your video, you're not a Pikachu. Master. One can travel lighter than You're two, the worst Sarah. Pikachu ever. Am I to protect this boy? <sighs> Fear not. This won't hurt a bit. Shh. In Soviet Russia, Russia, Pikachu catches By the you. Way, my like name this. Is Anyway, that's the first of our, uh, the end of our first Let's Play, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me.